I'm the flyest to ever walk in here. You might be missing and wondering who the fuck this is. Thank everybody out there for tuning in. Y'all know what this is, man. Y'all know what I do. I am the coolest comic book collector out with the most fitted hats, without a doubt, man. There's no question. You can't question me on that, man. Until I meet the guy that, that got nearly as much fitted hats, we can get into that. But anyway, today, man, I'm showing you guys some real, real quick unboxings, some fresh fitted hats that I got, man. Y'all know what I do, man. I'm actually going to be hitting you guys with a comic video. Uh, probably that I'm going to end up doing that tomorrow. But today, we're going to jump straight into this one. I'm not going to keep you guys too long. Few few brief minutes of your time real quick, right? So uh, we're going to get to this first box that I got right here, man. Uh, I got a few very, very rare joints that I'm actually expecting to have right now. So we're going to bust this one open. You know, I keep that trusty, trusty gangrene blade, man. Y'all know what I do on my side. So uh, let's bust this thing open and see what we got. Now, this is just ironic that I'm wearing uh, the arrow bison that I showed you guys in my last video. So now this right here, what I'm going to show you guys is, is not unheard of, but definitely not one that you see every day. Uh, I'm blessed and thankful to have recently met a guy that uh, is actually in the area of the store to pick one of these up, man. So right here, what we have... What some people call the plain Jane Bison, but we're going to fix this, man. we actually going to fix this. Uh, we got a pink, kind of creamish pink UV, which is the undervisor. We got an all-white icy guts, icy sweat van. Uh, as you guys see, y'all know what this is, man. It's that Bison's, man. Y'all see that 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 epic slide, man. Y'all know what it derived from. Y'all know what it come from. That slide, here we go right here. i seen some people call it the French Toast Man. Uh <laughs> I actually thought that was kind of funny. I don't think his face looks like French toast. But um, the Bisons, man. The Bisons. Now, this hat right here, not this one, but there's other versions of this that were selling for crazy, crazy numbers. Uh, it's come down a little bit. Uh, as you guys have known, if you don't know, uh, the actual store in Buffalo, New York has released, I believe, six or seven different versions of this. So that has made this logo a lot more accessible. So I'm actually happy that they're doing that. And shout out to the guy that actually put me on with this. Uh, he looked out for me. I uh, had this for sale. Now, and again, a lot of the bison hats that you see don't have this right here on the back, which is the bison, the buffalo bison in the middle of a baseball. So you guys know, man. Y'all know what I do, man. Y'all know what I do, man. We doing this Wakanda style, man. Forever, bro. Forever. You see that purple? That's really why I actually uh, picked this up. I was like, bro, I got to incorporate a lot more purples in my shades. Uh, just for my background, you know what I mean? For my life, I didn't, purple wasn't one of our shades, so we didn't do purple too much. You know, red and greens, man. You know what I mean? Red team, man. Red team. That's strictly red team shit. So, um, I got another one right here, man. Now, this right here that I'm expecting, uh, I think this is, this is that Windy City baby right here. I think so. Oh, don't quote me on that. It might be something else that I probably forgot I even ordered. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm absolutely right. I'm absolutely right. Now, this right here, like I said, I, I, I order it, so I know what I'm expecting, right? Chicago Blackhawks, you do not see this. Not only just every day, you just don't see this hat. Chicago Blacks Hawks. Now this right here, this is like, I don't even know what you call this. It's like leather-ish, kind of. Some material on the brim, man. Some material. Yes, y'all know what I do, man. It is a fitted. It's the only way we're going. The only way we go about things. Uh, yeah, you know my size, man. I'm a 7 and 3, 8, 4, 7 and a half. Uh, now that I, you know, I got hair. I've been growing my hair for a while, but I had to twist up recently. So my, my size is a little extended, man. But you guys see this, man. This is not something that you see every day. This is like, I don't wear tan. I'm not like a tan or a brownish kind of guy, but it just fits so right with that logo. And being that this is literally the last of the Indians, man, this is one of the last Indian logos out. And uh, if you guys have been following me, if you not haven't been, what you doing, man? Hit that subscribe. It don't cost nothing to subscribe. But uh, I was recently in the Windy City uh, about a month ago. So, you know, just some of my uh, previous stomping grounds in my lifetime, just my family and the history. I have been in the Chicago. So, uh, yeah, man, those are my last two fitted pickups recently. Uh, I, like I said, I'm going to be dropping another video for you guys. I promise you literally within like the next 24, 48 hours, if that. Uh, I got a comic video I'm going to be showing you guys. And then after that, we're going to do another fitted video. I'm going to be showing you guys some of my actual original ideas. Uh, I'm going to be presenting to you guys some stuff that I'm actually making. Uh, they are, everything's going to be licensed. It's going to be new era hats. But the logos I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be having done myself. So uh, I'm gonna see you guys stay tuned, man. I'm gonna be hitting you guys with that pretty, pretty soon. But uh, for right now, peace and love. You guys know what it is. Thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, man, I will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, I'm the flyest to ever walk in here. You might be listening, wondering.